So our biggest community service event is our Gatorade Pong. And so we actually team up with Mothers Against Drunk Driving. And so we always have a representative from that organization who has lost a child in a drunk driving accident, whether it be from them or from someone that was drunk that hit them. And so it's a, more of an awareness. Because it takes something that, you know, is seen as a negative thing and we kind of show how you can have fun in, you know, a safe environment while playing, you know, a game that isn't really um, something that people think of as, you know, they, they attribute it to drinking and everything like that. But we promote it as a way to, you know, come together and raise money for mothers against drunk driving and promote having fun in a safe environment and, you know, being responsible. My favorite community service event that we did this year was the flashlight readings and it was just really special because we got to get bused down to the local elementary schools and we got to um, sit down with their families, to turn out the lights off, we um, eat, they all get new books and we just sit in with a flashlight and we read with them and their families. And it's really special because it's part of our million minute reading challenge and um, just a way to get involved with the community and bridge that gap and um, they all bring their favorite stuffed animals and they love talking to athletes and they all want to be athletes too. We kind of organized a bus and it was supposed to start off as just our sack reps but somehow word got out and all the student athletes was like we want to come. <laughs> And so I was like, well, to make it more memorable, why don't we all dress up like in costumes? And we took it and ran with it. And we even had the kids come in costumes too. So we had all the teams just raise money or don't or like bring candy. And we went over there, had stations, and basically the kids just went around and trick or treat at each station and they loved it. Especially the area that this Boys and Girls Club is at. I don't think that the kids would have been safe if they would have trick-or-treated around their neighborhood. So instead of them having to stay at home and not trick-or-treat, we were like, no, you guys are going to.